The title of the piece is uh, Bay Beginnings. Um, so can you uh, talk to me about why you used these pieces? Well, uh, this, I'm trying to, to tell the story of um, the early, very early um, Bay community. And I didn't have any good images of Native Americans who would have been some of the early people. So I thought, well, if I just convey the beauty of the Bay and what they may have seen, um, then you would have a sense of the purity and beauty and why people wanted to live uh, in the Bay Area in the first place. So I, uh, I like to walk, uh, and I frequently go down to the marinas and walk. And so I had photos in my collection of some of those trips including going at the end of like West Winton, you know, where they actually were. So I thought this would be a good chance for me to just show uh, what it was like early on without all the cars and businesses. And it still looks like that, so you can see why we loved living here in the first place. And it was fun stitching it, uh, doing the, the reeds and trying to make this water all blend in together and having hills so what I like to do in this type of work is try to see what I can see in the fabric itself. So I was looking at, you know, the sandiness or the muddiness, and it varies, and trying to have as many fabrics that look alike. So there's this piece versus these two pieces, and there's this one, so that they all blend it together, and it has a natural kind of feel to it, along with the green fabrics in here too, trying to find different ones. So that's what we quilters like to do. We like to see uh, how much of the fabric can drive the design too. Yeah. So some of the pieces uh, that I really love is the water that mm -hmm. you use. It actually physically looks like it's flowing. Did you, was that your pure intention? It was. I mean, I was, I was working it and looking at, looking at the photo and looking at the direction of it, because sometimes if you tilted it looks more wavy than that. So yes, yeah, so I was I was I was uh, busy trying to align them. And there's more than one piece, see, so it's not one solid piece. I've connected pieces here and there are pieces there. And this is a slightly different piece here. So sometimes when I'm running out of something then I have to go back and look in my stash and see something that'll almost work. And then you have like little seepages of water over in here. So so that's part of the, the fun of it. I debated on whether or not I was going to put some salt in here. Uh, I had gotten a piece of salt, because you know the whole bay, air, bay near where they lived, they uh, mined the salt from the bay. Uh, but then I was afraid that with people visiting it, that it would probably become a smushed. I could encapsulate, but I was afraid it might bleed, so I left it out. So uh, speaking about sand, uh, I just love uh, the, the waviness of the sand itself. It's just... Uh, you could definitely just like imagine take, picking up a pile of sand in your hand yeah. and just let it like seep out. Uh, did you also like learn this over time, or did you kind of just like decided to create the waviness of the sand? Well, I usually think about when I'm. Uh, it's it's free motion, but I'm also trying to you know you can see the variation in stitch. So this is denser, uh, more swirls, like you would if you were moving through the sand, versus the clouds where. There's movement there, but it's looser, so, um, and then this is moving differently too. So yes, it's something that, uh, I can just say my brain started to accommodate, you know, it's like, uh, this is gonna look here, and I'm not planning it before I do it, I do it on the fly. I'm doing it when I have it, um, my sewing machine, I'm just using a regular sewing machine too. Uh, I'm just doing it. So when we quilt or start, we usually start in the center, so it's very likely, uh, well I know I did, I did this part first. The green. Uh -huh. And then I worked my way up and I worked my way down. So I changed threads. And, and there are what we call variation in threads. So if you're looking at it real close, you can see sometimes there's light that's called um, variegated thread. It helps to add an extra layer of texture too. Yeah. With the last thing that I would like to analyze in this quilt is the reeds. So I specifically love this part because there's literally you sewed each reed. You can actually see each stitching and then you had to cut it off and then put the, the cattails on the top. Yes. How long did that take you? Well, I do, I do the entire top. Um, 
this is a collage kind of process. So I make the whole thing before I start to stitch it. So for these reeds, I start here and I go down. I probably switched switched over, but they're 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 probably connected. Uh, when you so I am going. There's at least two two um, rows of stitching on each one, and then I change the red and I go back and do the tops.